Alright, Shawan, Shawan. Call Lake Night, how about Shmi Oshai, by Shawan Kakadash. Devil Guns to the Elves and the Apostles of Great Moonstone, who were well pleased, blessings, and citations. Goes to the hopeful and let that scatter broadens, alright? To the to the brothers out there pushing the street about righteousness and sincerity. <clears throat> and to the Elk Walk, if you insist, instead of listening and learning, to you, I say Shawan. Hold on a minute, let me close this door right quick. It's lucky. Alright, there we go. Coming back at you with another lesson. Through the spirit of prayer, Yah Bashim Yah Shah, I go in to find and defeat the lands of Yah Bashim Yah Shah. I pray this lesson be in to find a straight to the point. Alright, so hey, man. <laughs> Alright, look. DJ's been warned, man. Okay? That these Edomites hate you, man. Alright? And what happened in Buffalo, the shooting, all right, that killed 10 people and injured 13, okay? It's going to be a whole lot more incidents just like this, man. Because this devil, Esau Edom, all right, these little, little Edomites, they feel like they're losing their, you know, their place. They're being replaced, which they are, okay? Because their time is almost up. So you're going to see a whole lot more incidents, man. And these Jays was caught off guard, man. All right, Esau is about to roll on you Israelites, man. You so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, man. Okay? And what happened in Buffalo? <laughs> they ain't going to be nothing compared to what's coming, man. Okay? This devil, he's about to roll on you Jakes, man. Okay? These Edomites are about to show their true colors. All right? They're about to show their horns. Okay? And of course, so these Jakes, they was unaware of what's happened. Okay? All right? Let's read this down here. It says, on May 14th, which was Saturday, all right, it said, mass shooting targeting primarily so-called African Americans occurred at a Topps Friendly Markets, Markets Supermarket in Buffalo, New York, United States. Ten people were killed and three were injured. The shooting live screen, the shooter live screen, the attack on the server Twitch, okay? This dude, <laughs> this Edomite, he drove I think it said he drove 25 miles from where he lived, and he targeted you jakes, man, so-called Negroes, man. And you're going to see more attacks, man, just like this, targeting you Israelites, man, okay? Primarily because he said, all right, I saw a video from Elder Malcolm when he showed a post where this Edomite feels like he, he's being replaced, and he is. And who these Edomites going to blame? They're going to solely blame you Israelites, man, and we told you this shit was coming. We told you, you were going to be blamed for everything, man, okay? These Edomites are mad. They're coming down with great wrath because they know that they got for a short time. They're being exposed. They're being hated throughout the four corners of the earth. People are turning on them, all right? <laughs> these nations are starting to turn on them. You feel like these devils are losing their power. They're losing their grip on the world. So what they're going to go back to? They're going to go back to that sword. And as a matter of fact, let me get the scripture right quick while I continue. Okay, because, hey, <laughs> and we're going to read one of those articles, all right? Let's see. Let's go to Revelation 6 and 4, okay? All right, Revelation chapter 6 and verse 4. And there went out another horse that was red. That horse that was red is talking about Esau Edom. And power was given to him that sat there on to take peace from the earth, that they should kill one another. And there was given unto him a great sword, Genesis 27 and 40 says, by thy sword thou shalt live. Esau has lived by the sword, man. This devil has lived by the sword, man. He, hey, and as a matter of fact, let's just go to Genesis, man. Genesis 27, okay, and mm, let me start at verse, uh, let's see, let me see when I want to start, uh, I'm going to start right here, verse 38, Genesis 27, verse 38. And Esau said unto his father, which was Isaac, Hast thou but one blessing, my father? Bless me, even so, O my father. And Esau lifted up his voice and wept, all right? Because, hey, you know, Jacob inherited the blessing, and Esau, hey, he sold his birthright, man. He didn't want it in any way. He said, what his birthright had to do with him? What some birthright got to do for him? All right, he tells you that in Genesis, the 25th chapter. He despised his own birthright, man. He didn't want to be the, you know, you know, the chosen. But, hey, it wasn't meant for him to be chosen anyway because, hey, it was always meant for Jacob to get the birthright, okay? 
And hey, and this is what these devils are mad about, man. That they're not the chosen. The Lord Yahweh Hashem Yahshua hates them, man. Okay? Verse 39. And Isaac, his father, answered and said unto him, Behold, thy dwelling should be the fatness of the earth and of the dew of heaven from above. All right? So these devils, they're in rulership. They're already in their heaven. They're in their rulership. But from, hey, now, that their time is almost up, man. Okay? And they can feel it in their spirits, man. These devils can feel that their time is almost up. Okay? Verse 40. And by thy sword thou shalt live. And these devils have lived by the sword, man. Okay? Not just the guns, man. Their military, their weapons, and all this, all this, all this stuff, man, that these devils live by. Okay? All right? Verse 40 again. And by thy sword thou shalt live, and shalt serve thy brother, and it shall come to pass when thou shalt have dominion. Thou shalt break his yoke from off thy neck. And that happened during the Renaissance period when these devils came back into power. Okay? All right? And hey, and they put us in the captivity. But guess what's going to happen to them? <laughs> it's about to be a reverse, man. Because these devils, what they done to the children of Israel, they ass is about to go into slavery. And they're going to have to receive double for what they done, man. Okay? Verse 41. And Esau hated Jacob because of the blessing wherewith his father blessed him. And Esau said in his heart, which is mine, the days of mourning for my father are at hand. Then I will slay my brother Jacob. They're trying to slay you Israelites, man. You so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans. Esau is pissed, man. These devils are pissed off because they see you rising up and they know they're falling. All right? The curses are starting to fall upon them and they can't handle it, man. They see what's going on throughout the four corners of the earth, especially here in Babylon, the great America. All right. They're losing their grip on the world. And hey, these Edomites, they're ready to go to war against you, Jakes, man. And we told you that these devils are going to do that, man. Okay. So let's go back. Let's go back and see one of these articles, man. You can see. And he said, hey, this devil, he live screened the whole thing. All right. Which we're not going to play. All right. But hey. You Israelites, man, you better wake the hell up, man. Because, hey, what happened? <laughs> hey, what happened? All right. You know, in this neighborhood, it ain't going to be shit compared to what's coming to you, Jakes, man. All right. Mainly two thirds of you Israelites. All right. That was judgment. All right. What happened to these uh, 10 so called Negroes? What happened to them? That was judgment. Okay. Hey, a lot of you, hey, but still, at the end of the day, and there's this devil right here, man. This red, <laughs> red piece of shit. Let's read this one. All right. This is from FoxNews.com. Let me read this one. It says, Buffalo shooting suspect, Pat Peyton Gendro, whatever the hell his name is. I'm not trying to pronounce that shit. Parents interviewed by fast days after supermarket attack. Blah, blah, blah. Anyway, let's read a little bit of this. Uh, it says, Fred... Federal and state investigators had interviewed the parents of the accused mass shooter, Peyton Gendro, and has is, and has skewed a number of search warrants in connection with his alleged attack. Saturday attack, which left 10 people dead and another three wounded, officials said Sunday. New York State Trooper and agents with the Fed with the FBI traveled to the 18-year-old uh, Gendro's home on Sunday to speak with his parents who have been corroborative in the, with authorities. I don't want to read all that. There's this red devil right here, man. Okay. <laughs> and hey, these Edomites going to do worse than to you, Jace, man. All right. So you, it, hey, you better realize that these devils, they hate you, man. They have a perpetual hatred for you, uh, you Jakes, man, and they're gonna do, a f they're gonna do a hell of a lot worse to you, Jakes, man, before it's over with. Okay, so it's time for you Israelites, man, to wake your asses up and realize you got an enemy. All right, and stop trying to save these damn devils, man. Okay, I don't really get too much. Let's go on. Let's see, yeah, it says uh, Buffalo mass shooter alleged. Manifesto leaves no doubt attack was the so-called white supremacist terrorism. All right. So, hey, look, it's going to get a lot worse than this, man. Okay. 
you jakes that'll wake your ass up man all right let's read this one let's see what this one says I'm going to read this one. It says the U.S. Justice Department is investigating Saturday's mass shooting at the at a Buffalo supermarket as a hate crime and an act of racially motivated violence and screamers. Okay? And it was a hate crime, man. Okay, this devil, like I said, this devil drove 25 miles from where he lived, all right, to a predominantly so-called black neighborhood and shot up you jakes, man. All right? And it's going to get worse than this, okay? It says the gunman was identified during his arraignment as Peyton S. Gen- Gendro of Cod- Codland, New York, all right? That name, that matched the name given in the 180-page manifesto that surfaced online shortly after the attack and took credit for the violent violence in the name of so-called Edomite Springs, which is there. Look, these devils are not white, man, okay? They're not white. That's a socially made-up construct that they gave themselves in 1681 in Virginia, all right? Let's see what this is. Let's see. Give us a little bit more information. Mm. It says, law enforcement and government officials will not confirm the valid the validity of the documents in the in, in, intimidating hours after the attack, yet the yet the excurring details provide leaves little doubt of this offense authenticity. A senior F, a senior federal law enforcement official told the New York Times they believe Gendro posted the document. All right. Let's see. I don't really give us too much. I'm trying to look for something. Um uh, Yeah, let's 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 read down here. Um uh, hold on. Make sure. Yeah, let's just, just read down. He says Gendro live screened the attack on the social media platform Twitch and had the N word written on his rifle. <laughs> hey, he's basically talking to you so called Negroes, man. Okay, and hey, all Israelites, all 12 tribes going to be targeting these times, man. All right, wait till shit hits the fan, man. Okay, and look, shit's about to get ugly out here, man. Okay, all 12 tribes are going to be targeted, man. You Israelites, man, you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Americans, you are the target, man. Okay, you're going to be blamed for the reason why shit is the way it is and why these devils are falling, man. Okay. Video from the scene showed he was charged with first degree murder after killing 10 people and wounding three others. He should be charged with a fucking hate crime. Or better yet, his ass should be put to death for what he did, man. Because that's murder. He didn't kill nobody. Killing is a righteous thing in the Bible, alright? Murder, alright? Murder is a thing. Like it tells you in uh, laws that you must not murder, okay? Alright? What they really say, but hey, he should be put to death for this shit, all right? But we're in Babylon, the great America, so <laughs> ain't no chance of that shit happening. Not with these damn Edomites, all right? So yeah, our shot comes back. The alleged manifesto admits to planning the attack uh, passively for the past few years and, serious, and seriously since January. It bemoans a per- purpose so-called white genocide <laughs> and see the devil, hey the devil feel like he's being replaced and he is all right his world's coming to an end man that so-called eating my privilege that you devils thought you had that shit is fading away man okay taking place in america and proudly brags of the writing of races and you know you see that other word i'm not reading that one and it Q and A with himself. The writer said he supports those that wish for a future for so-called white children and the existence of our people. <laughs> Man, please. <laughs> he said he wished for a future for so-called white children. Okay. And he does times is up, man. Alright. 
and he knows deep down inside in his spirit, he knows, all right, that his time is up. A lot of these Edomites, they can feel in their spirit that their time is up because they can't get away with the shit that they used to do, man, to you Israelites. A long time ago, they could get away with shit like this, murdering you Jays, man, hanging you Israelites, man, from trees and shit like that, burning you, all right, setting you on fire and shit. Now they can't get away with that shit. These devils are falling, man, okay? It says, it's the, let's read this. It says, that's what so-called white supremacist terrorists is all about. And that, that's what we witness here today. Yeah. Okay. Exactly. Mm, I'm not going to read all that shit, man. But hey. You see? It's Red Devil, man. <laughs> okay. All right. Let's move on, man. Let's get to scriptures. Because hey. It's going to get worse than this for you, Jace, man. And we keep telling you, Jace, man, that this devil has a perpetual hatred for you Israelites, man. I don't know how many times we can tell you that, all right? And in New York City, you got prophets up there prophesying day in and day out, man, okay? Up there in New York City, man. You got prophets up there, okay? And I'm quite sure some of these Jays have heard the prophets, but hey, what do you Jays do? You walk by the prophets, you scoff, you mock at the prophets, all right, you will, all right, I heard from, uh, brother, I'm on a bad, it was a video from GMS Boston, all right, this Jake, this E, all right, not knowing what's going on, she gonna run up and start screaming at the prophets, man, that's you Jake's, man, you Jake's don't want to hear the prophets, you will run to the defense of your enemy, all right, that hates your guts, and try to save them, I then to listen to the people that looks like you, man. All right, that's trying to warn you of this damn devil, man. That's how sad it is. This is why it took, look, man, this is why two thirds of you Israelites got to go. And hey, this devil is about to show his true horns, man. He's about to show his true colors on you, damn Israelites, man. And what happened in Buffalo, New York, is nothing compared to what's coming for you Israelites, man. Okay, you better take heed and wake the hell up. Okay, this is Amos 1 in verse 11. Thus said the Lord Yahweh and Yahshua, for three transgressions of Edom and for four, I will not turn away the punishment thereof. Because he did pursue his brother with the sword, it did cast off all pity, and he teared his, and he, sorry, and his anger did tear perpetually, and he kept his wrath forever. These devils have a perpetual hatred for you, Jace, man. And you, Jace, need to wake up and realize that this man has a perpetual hatred for you, okay? And I'm about to read it. Uh, let's see. Mm. I'm going to start at the top, man. This is Ezekiel 35 and verse 1. Moreover, the word of the Lord Yahweh Yahshua came unto me, saying... Son of man, set thy face against Mount Seir and prophesy against it. It's talking about the Edomites, the race, okay? It's talking about the people before a place. It's talking about the Edomites, okay? Verse 3, and say unto it, Thus saith the Lord, how about shall I have power? Behold, O Mount Seir, I am against thee, and I will stretch out my hand against thee, and I will make thee most desolate. And the Lord, how about shall I is about to take down you Edomites, man, okay? Esau is the end of the world, and Jacob's the beginning of it that follows. Verse 4. I will lay the I will lay thy cities waste, and thou shalt be desolate, and thou shalt know that I am the Lord Yahabashin Yahushai. Verse 5. Here's the reason why. Because thou hast had a perpetual hatred, and hast shed the blood of the children of Israel by the force of the sword, in the in the time of their calamity, in the time that their iniquity have an end. Verse 6. Therefore, as I live, said the Lord Yahweh Yahshai, I will prepare thee unto blood, and blood shall pursue thee. Since thou hast not hated blood, even blood shall pursue thee. So, hey, what these devils have done, they're going to have to receive double, man. And as a matter of fact, let's go to Numbers 35 and 33. So, hey, their blood's got to be shed. They shed the blood of the children of Israel, man. So their blood has got to be shed. This man cannot be cleansed but by the blood of him that shed it. All right? 
You're never going to get justice on stolen land. All right? Not from these Edomites. Okay? This is Numbers 35 and verse 33. So ye shall not pollute the land wherein ye are. For blood it defiles the land. And the land cannot be cleansed of the blood that is shed therein. But by the blood of him that sheddeth it. So their blood has got to be shed. Okay? For what they done to you Israelites, man. Okay? And, those, and this is all building up. To these race wars that's coming, man. Okay? Alright? This is uh Joel 3 and verse 19. Egypt shall be a desolation, which is not talking about modern... Uh, sorry, this is talking about modern-day Egypt, which is Babylon the Great America. Not ancient Egypt, but modern-day Egypt, which is Babylon the Great America. Okay? Joel 3 and verse 19. Egypt shall be a desolation, and Edom shall be a desolate wilderness. For the violence against the children of Judah because they have shed innocent blood in their land. Okay? A lot of blood has been shed on you Israelites, man. Okay? And like I said, man, that was judgment. All right? That was judgment. But what happened to you Israelites is those 10, you know, so-called Negroes. But at the same time, hey, it's still the Lord's people, man. And hey, like it says, you put them, you touch the Lord apple of his eye, man. Okay? So, hey. And a lot of judgment is about to go forward, man. So you Israelites better take heed. Okay? Uh, that's another scripture I had. Just had it in mind, man. Um, I'll think of it in a minute. It'll come back to me. Um, right, let's get this one. Alright? This is Psalms chapter 9, verse 16. The Lord Yahweh Shin Yashai is known by the judgments which he executed. The wicked is snared in the work of his own hand, hanging on the law. Okay, so the Lord, you know, the Lord, he how about Shinyal Shai, he's known by the judgment which he executed, man. Okay, like I say, that was judgment what happened to those jakes, man. But hey, at the same time, man, hey, the Lord is about to use Esau Eden to come down on you jakes, man. So you jakes better take heed, man. All right. This is Psalm 17 and verse 13. Arise, O Lord, he how about Shinyal Shai, disappoint him. Cast him down, deliver my soul from the wicked, which is thy sword. The Lord Yahweh is using Esau to be a whipping stick to you Israelites, man. All right, especially you know, all right, when Jacob's trouble comes, and we're about to head into Jacob's trouble, and it's gonna be a hell of a lot worse than this. Okay, it could be next time it could be thirty of you Jakes getting gunned down, a hundred. All right, it ain't just gonna be the Southern Kingdom. All right, Judah, Benjamin, and Levi. It's going to be all the tribes, man. Okay? A time like no other. This is Jeremiah chapter 30 and verse 7. Alas, for that day is great, so that none is like it. It is even the time of Jacob's trouble, but he should be saved out of it. Only the elect are going to be saved out of these times, man. Okay? Out of these times of Jacob's trouble, man. All right? Esau's going to do far worse to you, Jace, man. Okay? All right? They're going to be snatching you out of your homes. They're going to be, hey... Especially you Israelite women, man, all right? Especially you Israelite women that's always screaming, you don't need a man, all right? You don't need nobody to protect you. Hey, these devils, Esau, eat them. They're going to turn on your ass, all right? Esau is about to turn on you Israelites, man. He already is, okay? And if you don't, it's going to be worse than this. What happened this time is going to, next time it could be, like I say, man, next time, it could be 30 of you jakes getting gunned down. Okay? Look, these Edomites are about to come down with great wrath. They know their time is up, man. They can feel it in their spirit that they're being replaced in which they are. Okay? Their time is up, man. Esau is the end of the world, and Jacob's the beginning of it that follows. Second is the six and nine. And they know their time is just about up. This is Daniel's 12 and 1. And at that time shall Michael stand up, the great prince was standing for the children of thy people. And there should be a time of trouble such as never was since there was a nation, even to that same time. And at that time thy people shall be delivered, everyone that shall be found written in the book. Only the elect are going to be, all right, are going to be delivered out of these times, man. Are going to be protected, okay? All right? So, hey, take heed, man, okay? Because, hey, Lord Yahweh Shemel Shai. He's about to bring a whole lot of judgment onto two thirds of his people, and it's gonna be far worse than what you, all right, than the shooting in Buffalo's New York. 
okay, in that supermarket. And these jays was caught off guard, man, okay? They probably weren't expecting that to happen. And, hey, like the Lord said, he's coming like a thief in the night, man. So, hey, you got to watch and take heed, okay? This is, uh, then I'm actually get that scripture, all right, in First Thessalonians 5 and verse 2 and 3, okay? Let me read this first. This is Zephaniah 3 and verse 5. The just Lord Yahweh and Yahshua is in the midst thereof, and he will not do iniquity. Every morning through he bring his judgment to light. He faileth not, but the unjust knoweth no shame. Our people don't know no shame, man. Okay? You can warn them all day long, man, that this man hates you. All right? And this devil, he's about to show it. He's about to show that hatred for you Israelites, man. Okay? This is First Thessalonians chapter 5, verse 1. But of the times and the seasons, brethren, ye have no need that I write unto you. Verse 2, for yourselves know perfectly that the day of the Lord have I seen our shot so coming as a thief in the night. The Lord is coming like a thief in the night, and you least suspect it, man. This is why you Israelites need to wake up and take heed to this word before it's too late. Because once this word is gone, you're going to be looking for the prophets. You're going to be looking for answers, and the answers are not going to be there. Okay? You didn't take heed. And the Lord have I seen our shot is about to remove his word from his prophets, man. Okay? So, hey. Take heed, man. Realize who your enemy is. You got enemies, man. Okay? But that's okay, though. Because, hey, Esau's about to get his. He's going to get his payback. All right? He's about to get his payback. He's going to have to receive double for what he's done to the children of Israel. All right? Like I said, it was judgment on one hand to you Israelites. All right? Yeah, Esau's going to do a whole lot of killing on you Jakes, man. But at the same time, Hey, the Lord's going to flip the script, all right? Once he start putting his hands on the Lord's elect, man, the Lord's going to turn the tables, man. And hey, when the men get endowed with spiritual powers, payback, <laughs> all right? It's over with for Esau. Because hey, the Lord, how about seeing your shot, is going to allow this devil to get two-thirds of you. And a lot of you Israelites are going to die, man, point blank, period, all right? It says it in Zechariah chapter... um. 13 and verse 8. We're going to get that. And then I'm going to close it out with that, man. Okay? Let's read now. Verse 3. For when they shall say peace and safety, then sudden destruction cometh upon them as travail upon a woman with child, and they shall not escape. Two thirds of you Israelites are not going to escape the judgment from Yahweh Shemiel Shai. So, unless you want to be partakers in that judgment, you better repent and take heed to this word and take heed to the prophets before it's too late. This is Zechariah chapter 13 and verse 8. And this is about to happen, man. Okay? I'm going to use like judgment, death, and destruction is about to come on two-thirds of your Israelites, man. Okay? All right? This is Zechariah chapter 13 verse 8. And this shall come to pass that in all the land said the Lord Yahweh Shemiel Shai, two parts therein shall be cut off and die. Two-thirds of you are about to be cut off and die on this side. And then you're going to have to be born in the kingdom through the laws of the elect. Shame. All right, shame for uh for a long period of time, okay. All right, you don't want to come back in the kingdom shame, knowing that you ignored the prophets and knowing what you did and how you died. <laughs> hey, you but you still gonna you know you still gonna inherit the kingdom. Two thirds are gonna come back. They're gonna inherit the kingdom. Yeah, they're gonna have it. They're gonna have, but they're not gonna be on the same level as the elect though. Okay. Because they're going to be remembered for what they've done. Okay? Zechariah 13, verse 8. And it shall come to pass that in all the land, said the Lord, how about you know, shy, two parts the two parts the end shall be cut off and die, but the third shall be left in there. Only one third and left are going to be saved in these times of trouble, man. Okay? Verse 9. And I will bring the third part through the fire and will refine them as silver is refined and will try them as gold is tried. They shall call on my name and I will hear them. I will say, it is my people, and they shall say, the Lord Yahweh is my power, man. Okay? So, only the one-third of the are going to be saved out of these times of Jacob's trouble, man. Okay? So, you better take heed. Let me get one more. Okay? One of my favorite scriptures to go to, man. This is Sirach Ecclesiastes chapter 5 and verse 7. This is one of my favorite scriptures to go to, man. All right? Make no tarrying to turn to the Lord, how about Shai. 
and putting our all from day to day. Don't wait until it's too late, man. Now is the time to get right and start listening to the prophets and listen to the warnings that's being t- told unto you, okay? Sirach, Ecclesiastes 5 and 7. Make no tear in the turn to the Lord Yahweh Shai, put not all from day to day. For suddenly shall the wrath of the Lord Yahweh Shai come forth, and in thy security thou shalt be destroyed and perish in the day of vengeance. Okay? Take heed, man. Stop ignoring the prophets, man. Alright? You got prophets all over the United States, man. Prophesying, laboring, putting their bodies on the line, making their bodies a living sacrifice day in and day out, night and day, no matter what the time we put in the lessons. It could be late in the morning, like what I'm doing. It could be in the morning time, the evening time, the night time. These, they, look, they, man. <laughs> hey, look, man, you Israelites don't have no excuse. Okay, no excuse. You ain't got no excuse for not hearing this truth. This word, listening to the prophets, man. Taking heed to these warnings that we're giving you. Because Jacob's trouble, <laughs> hey man, it's at the door. It ain't coming. It's at the door, man. Shit is about to hit the fan. And you can lie to two thirds of you Israelites. You're going to be caught off guard, man. You're going to be caught off guard. And you're going to perish out here. You're going to die. Alright. Esau's going to get a foot in his ass too, man. But it's about you Israelites, man. You so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. Alright. And of course, you speckle bird Israelites that are scattered amongst the heathen that look like the heathen. Because you do got Israelites that are scattered amongst uh, uh, these Edomites and all the other nations. Okay. Hey, you also need to take heed. Okay. So I'm going to end the lesson here. Lord willing, I pray this lesson was edifying. All praises to Yahweh, Bashem Yahweh Shai, Bashem Rakakadash, double honors to the elders and the apostles, the great most known who were well pleased, blessings and citations, close to the hope and let that scatter abroad. Take heed, man, to this warning. Take heed to this word before it's too late. Realize that this man, Esau Edom, is coming down with great wrath because he knoweth that he had but a short time. Revelation 12 and 12. Okay? So that, Kwame Asherah, Shawam, why about the ball? About one. DTA about the ball. Boom. Till next time I say Sean Wong. Sean Wong.